Good morning, Bach. It's Wednesday, February 15th, 2017. I'm Ava Morano. And I'm Barry Weiner. Before we get to today's school news, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There were 1,485 Hershey Kisses in the Pennies for Patients jar. Congratulations to Cameron Kahn, who guessed 1,492. Thank you to everyone who donated to Pennies for Patients. Towels, blankets, dog collars, and more. Bring in your donations to Mr. Battle's room, 2212, from now until February 24th. Today, the girls' soccer team has their first home game against Duncan. Come out to support your friends at 4.30. Now to a special package on chiropractic care. Across the country, many adults attend the chiropractor to make sure their spines correctly aligned. However, now children are attending too. Pediatric chiropractic care is more popular than ever. According to sciencebasedmedicine.org, survey data indicates that the percentage of chiropractic patients under 17 years of age has increased by at least 9.5% since 2000. Chiropractic care also benefits children with back and neck pain, asthma, chronic ear infections, and nursing difficulties. With the help of a chiropractor, by the time a child is fully developed, their back should be properly aligned. Chiropractor Dr. Matt Simons tells us why it's essential for children to visit the chiropractor. The reason it's important for, uh, to, to take care of kids, or at least to get them checked, uh, is because there are so many different types of little micro or macro traumas that can happen to the spine and the nervous system. However, there are many issues to visiting a pediatric chiropractor. According to CSICOP.org, in 2015, there were 12 significant chiropractic injuries in children below 18, three of which were fatal. Chiropractic care can hurt a child's health and cause many side effects such as stunted growth, spinal injuries, and serious headaches. Pediatrician Shannon Fox tells us the worst thing that could happen after a child is adjusted. The worst thing that could happen to a child after adjustment is if they actually are being adjusted and their growth plates that you have in your spine, you know, from the bones that are growing, um, are moved in some fashion that it could cause um, a more long-term issue. Chiropractic care can be beneficial to any age group. However, some believe it can be detrimental to your health. For more information, talk to your pediatrician or a doctor near you. I'm Allison Robert, reporting for Fox News. To get ready for our three-day weekend, here's feature reporter Monty telling us why we get Monday off. President's Day is next Monday, February 20th. In honor of this holiday, which celebrates all American presidents, past to present, students get a day off of class. Let's test your knowledge on this important holiday. Question 1. What is the significance of the date of February 22nd? A. Lincoln's birthday. B. Washington's birthday. C. Last Wednesday of February. Or D. No significance. The answer is B. Presence Day was originally set on February 22nd to honor Washington's birthday. Question 2. What president first started this holiday on the 22nd? A. George Washington. B. Andrew Jackson. C. Bill Clinton. Or D. Richard Nixon. The answer is D. Richard Nixon first ordered this holiday during his presidency. However, it was called Washington's birthday. Question 3. Which summer president are we on? A. 45, B. 43, C. 40, or D. 55? The answer is A. Donald J. Trump is the 45th president of the United States. Thanks for playing. Now, back to the anchors. Thanks, Monty. That's all we have for you today. Signing off from Studio 4158, I'm Ava Marano. And I'm Barry Weiner. Fuck MSOA today. You miss a day? You miss a lot.